Boyle. And Light. So we see in the first. I thought that would be the case. Yeah, I knew that, huh? A minute into play, and we see Andrew Dove taking the shot at goal. Slam bang in front. During and Freshman by the Avaca loose forwards. What a start to a grand final. Now you should be able to just spit this over. I don't like round the corner kickers, but... Yes, the flags are up. Two minutes in. Yeah. Listen careful of that gear, Sunshine. Well done, mate. That's high. Things have been take a while to settle down out there, but uh, obviously referee Sloan's right on the ball. Andrew Dove takes the ball to two metres inside the terrible half. this line out. Actually, that's a bit dicey. Terra will come in. Avoca come over with a loose ball. It's gone wide. Reynolds to Funnel. Funnel to Bucknell. And uh, Paul Arnold knocked on there. But they should have kept it wide. I don't know where the hell Corey is. Well, I was talking to, uh, to Billy Colburn and he said he's over at the club and he'll be back by first grade. Did you find a person to shoot his phone? He'll be struggling over there. The scrum to go down 10 metres outside the terrible 22. Sloan is reading the right act to uh, the terrible front row. And Avoga have pushed them off it. Mark Martin goes thump. And it's 15 metres outside the 22. But Avoga put in the weight there. Arnold to steal, steal to funnel. Spins it wide and a good pass. Still gets a kick away. Well, a vagger on the boil now. You got a time on that, Roy? Um, 15.43. Yeah, how long in? Uh, six minutes in. Six minutes. And this line out on the uh, one by Terrigal. Kelk takes it in. Yeah. 
Andrew Dav fails to find touch. Uh, Avoga take it up, well taken by Terrigal. That won't come out of there in a hurry. And referee Stone, rightly so, brings it up. Breaks it up uh, two metres inside the Terrigal 22 with Terrell getting the scrum feed. I don't know what's happened to that Avoga front row, they don't want to go down. And it's against it's against Mark Simpson by the look of it, the terrible hooker. And Steele's fell goal wouldn't have got a point in Aussie rules. And so the score remains at 3-0 to the Terrible Trojans at the eight-minute mark. See Andrew Draft to take this drop kick. And the way that breeze is coming up, Terrigal going to have it right at their backs in the second half. And that was knocked on by Avoca. Sloan's picked it up, playing the advantage. And he's pinged, uh, he's calling up uh, Theo Serafin. He's, he's been given a warning. When you see Theo plays it hard, but he also, um, he's a footballer, like, probably in the same, what I said, I think, before, he's in the same older Billy Pierce, you give and take a bit. Sloan's obviously said, well, you keep that up and you're off. see a bit of the terrible drive from this line out. They'll come through. Stenner, well done. Andrew Dove, you're going nowhere. Going nowhere. Margin, up the guts. That's the shot. Nowhere else to go. And that's the place to have it. And the penalty, rightly so, was carted out of play. Better over. Better reaction there by Paul Miles. I think it was Paul Miles. No, it can't have been. He's over in the left-hand wing. I don't know his name. Brooks, I think. Either Brooks or Warren Howe, but anyway, uh, we're right on this line out, three metres inside the Avoga half. Mick Kelk, Wally Fields, Rebellion at three, one, Stenner knocked on, Sloan hasn't picked it up, and he's, but he's picked up that hand off the ground. It's a bloody dust bowl, this grandpa. <laughs> Bucknell brings Avoca onto the attack with a penalty just inside his the Trojan half in. It's a line out smack bang, or well, near enough to smack bang on the 22. Terrigal to feed, sloppy ball. Cleaned up by Andrew Dove. Not in fine touch. And he's not tackled. A rare mistake by Billy Pearce. Still the Avoca 5'8", kicks forward. A terrible will win this ball. Nothing bloody sure. Margin. Oh, shit. What a mistake by margin, you can't keep doing that. And Avaga came up with a scrum. That was good work. Yeah. Now Mark Margin, he's got a bloody boot. He's inside his own 22, and he decides to do bloody a bit of Swan Lake. And he disgusts him. <laughs> There's the weight from Terry. 
Warrigal, but it's to no avail, but very slubby ball. Funnel tries this long ball again, but Bucknell's wrapped up. Bit of bugger still driving forward, and they come up with a scrum too. That a vaga back's going particularly well. TJ! Turn it down there, mate. TJ! Down there. Walk down in front of the scoreboard. We got an Avaga player on the ground. Is that the uh, prop? Is it easy? I think if that's their prop, it's also their goal kicker. Easy's all right, and the scrum packs down about four metres inside. The weight comes on from Terrigal here. Tight head. Andrew Dove doesn't know what to do with it. Straight down Carraro. Bruce Robinson. But oh, that's pathetic. They're missing Michael Spore here. Across the money, Dove had enough time to marry the fucking ball. There. Yeah. We've got a wind change. Dove got that one away. Doesn't, still doesn't find touch. Bucknell, Bucknell. Wrapped up, well and truly wrapped up. That's not gonna count. Oh, hells, bells. Bullshit! I think I got an overlap here, but someone had to kick it. No, he's slowly just playing the advantage. Penalty. I thought you were going to get attacked there. Yeah? <laughs> I thought my luck had changed. Puts this out two metres inside the Trojan 22. Well one. Not straight. this scrum. Avaka screwing it. And a penalty. Have they come up with a penalty? Well, John Easy should be able to slot this. this slam bang on the 22 and 10 metres in. You just don't like the way that ball's sitting. I'd... I'd even be tempted to have a skinner that he'd fluff it. And it's gone over. So it's three points all.
12 minutes into this game. 13 minutes. Well, as we said, it's going to be a... There's no quarter given here. Andrew Dove carts it deep into... Oh, and... Terry Carraro fraud, completely misjudges that. We've got this uh, line out, five metres out from the uh, Avoca line. The Trojans are on the ball. If they can make use of this it's going to be danger for a voker. Knocked on in that line out by Terrigal and referee Sloan brings them 15 metres in for the uh, scrum. A voker to feed. Yeah, Paul Arnold's walking away there like. I don't know whether he's praying or what. And this is a weight. This is a Trojan weight. This is a weight. And the Trojans must come up with this grunt. Christ almighty. <laughs> that was power plus. <laughs> I'd hate to be in the second row and that have I go. I'd hate to be in the bloody thing full stop. That was, and there's a few wary little Avoca boys there. Brad Carrara showing his age. And we've got, looks like Seraphin down. I'm not quite sure from here. Yeah, Seraphin. Would have to be, he's the only wog on the field. <laughs> See, look at look at uh, Bob O'Brien and and uh, Wally Fields. They got that second row ready to go. Ping right up those props' ass. This is now we'll see a bit of flower power. Yes, one by Terrigal. Look at this. Look at this. Yes, and Terrigal have gone over. Yeah, it had to happen. It had to happen. Will Rebellion. Pass master at that. We've seen that at Woolway last week where they should have got the try, but they got the penalty try out of it. But, oh, no, stuffing around there. The men against the boys again. At the 20-minute mark. The terrible Trojans, seven points to three with the kick to come by Andrew Duff. What a bloody shame they missed this Michael Spore. I, I bet he's champing at the bit. Uh, watching this grand final that was so rightly his. Or oh, part of that grand final, I should say. I'm pretty sure Michael wouldn't. Yes, and this uh, Dove has flown it between the uprights. And so the olive branch is now. Minutes, halfway through this first spell. That's a that Ooh. on the full. Now, how pathetic is that for first grade rugby? See the Terrigal 8 give a bit of a shove here. You can you can bet your bloody boots on that. That bloody Paul I want he get his bloody head screwed off if he does that. I can't see how slowly that ball never come out of any sort of a channel at all and it is let play go on. If I could win this, Arnold. Arnold is still, he's going the blind. Mark margin. Now watch this big bastard slam it back. Not in fine touch. Take it for Bucknell. Bucknell decides to kick. Why he kicked? Oh, Voker in the 
clear. Wow. Forced back by Terrigal. Wow. Talk about getting out of jail, Terrigal. And that was all by some sloppy, bloody work by that Brooks or whatever his bloody name is. Funnel's not getting off that ball. And Slaney's tapping someone on the shoulder saying, well, you keep that up, you're going to be brown bread. Someone on the deck. I think it's Billy Pierce, is it? And Roy just put his bear all over the bloody place. Waste not, want not. Well, that no. reckless tradition, mate, wasn't that step, eh? You could have won that race. Yeah, well, give you the tip, we ain't a devil. If we got the run, you wouldn't have won it. It's uh, a bugger of Theo Seraphins. Down, he doesn't look too good either. Sloney's going over to... Check proceedings. Nah, you can't kill him. Well, shit, he's not good, no. He'll have to come off, I think. Yeah, Trojans, Arnold. Arnold's knocked on by Steel. Uh, Sloan never picked that up because he was nowhere bloody near it. He was down at Saratoga. Arnold again. Bucknell, field goal. That Christ Almighty, he may as well aim that at bloody Arimba. It was a mile away. Now, this Seraphin, he doesn't look real crash hot. Dove to restart. Boker, don't let it bounce. Well. The Terrigal tight. Coming through on that bloody ball and there's no one home of Boker. And they've made the best part of 20 metres out of the dropper. Back to Arnold. Knocked forward by Terrigal on that line out. No one's him. Funnels waving. Bloody Andrew Dove on the bloody ground. He wants to give him a bloody olive branch and piss him off here. Yeah. Here's some weight on that. Oh, picked up by Bucknell. Oh, yeah, well, that, uh, besides the forward pass, well, I tell you what, a bucker of all over terrible like a bloody race there. Mm -hmm. That pass from Funnel was spot on, really. They well, had the right idea. Margin got across there. <laughs> I don't know what Sloney's doing now. But it's a terrible scrum feed. 
three metres inside the Trojan 22. One by Terrigal. A Vaker all offside. Nothing bloody sure. Well, penalty of Vaker. Different side of the field, but uh, same position as his attempt before. 25 and 15 in. Now where the where the bloody hell's Corey? We loaded oh loaded the place up with grog, friend. Thirty minute mark. Twenty eight minutes in, are we? Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> easy to take this not so easy shot. He's dusted. No, right. It looked like it from here, but we're on the wrong side of the field, but Andrew Dove pops it right in that corner again and he's come off the side of the boot at Bucknell just about kills a kid still you get some more of them Oh, that. And a Vogra a mile, in, a mile offside. Talk about sucked in. And that's what Rebellion's, that's the name of Rebellion's game. But he crossed the line of bloody. No man's land and pick up the penalty. And I think looking at Rebillion out there, he's a very happy man at this stage. And as he always says, he stands behind his kicker. Always. That's a Rebillion trademark. Now, if Andrew Duff can slot this over, well. It's bonuses. Oh, shit, a brick. Christ almighty. Even I could have done better than that. Yeah. And it's never. I can't understand a bugger doing that. Oh, shit. And Stenner's asleep. Stenner was asleep then. Not covering the blind side. That's where it was going. Terrigal, this line out. Andrew Dove is just too bloody slow. This line out five five metres inside the Terrigal half. Terrigal had it. Ripped by a Voker. Funnel. God knows what Funnel was doing. 
This bloody ruck right on the halfway one by Avoca. Still says reef it into the corner. This could look. Oh, right, picked up by Paul Miles. That's all he could do with it, but that was well well done by Paul Miles. Not straight. Christ almighty, you wouldn't want to be a brain surgeon to figure that out. The line out was six metres out, and the funnel took the ball eight metres out. One by a, one by a terrible. They're just holding it so easy. Ball, mark margin, thumps it back to just outside the 22. about the 33 to 34 minute mark. This line out, two metres outside the Avoga 22. One by Avoga, Les, Les Island's been pinged there. More bloody penalties in, there's more penalties in Central Coast Rugby than there are in the New South Wales ju judiciary system. No easy. If uh, Terry are going to be giving away penalty, stupid penalties like that, how easy it will be. Because this easy doesn't... Uh, Missed too bloody many. Not from that range anyway. And really speaking, bloody Terrigal haven't played to the strength of today. They've they've played at the last two games and today they're not peeling off, they're not playing the blind, they're not bloody doing they're feeding it to bloody Dove and Co. Talk about wings on it up. That's over, yes. That's nine all. Well, uh, Terrigal have scored the try and Easy's kicked the penalties for a vote. kick off with uh, about five minutes remaining in this first spell. Paul Arnold takes it. Shocking kick by Arnold. Right down margin straight. Persist with Andrew Dove. Right? I suppose practice makes perfect. Where the hell are you, Michael Spore? Hey, Georgie! Well, that's what most of those guys will be saying out there. 
He's shagging around with his boots, isn't he? He comes in. I tell you, that doesn't look bad from here. Yes, it's over. Oh, well, Andrew, I owe you a beer, mate. <laughs> Certainly a seesaw sort of a game. <laughs> uh, Andrew Dove had a sigh of relief after that sort of faded in. Didn't have much legs, but that's what it counts. I went over the it went over the crossbar. You see Greg still to restart play. With only a couple of minutes remaining in this first half. And we get us some cock and bull bloody idea with a bugger that they've Bucknell pick off and Mark Martin says, whack, that'll do me, and brings that back to the two metres inside the terrible Trojan half. Mark Martin loves that sort of thing. And you get bloody stupid kickoffs like that. Christ almighty, it's not bloody kindergarten. Look at that terrible one. Get in there, Kelp. Bloody linesman, I tell you what. Well, we got the last minute of this. Plus injury time and referee Sloan's taken no bloody notice of all this bullshit from linesman. He's given Rebellia the drum and Paul Arnold's to feed it and the weight goes in by Terrigal. One by Avoca to Funnel. Funnel to Bucknell. Funnel knocks on. Sloan, I don't know whether he's picked it up or not. Yes, he has now. Christ almighty. Bullshit. Well, this is uh, Super Sleuth Gilly. He knows everything. Do you want to put my hand, Jerry Gold? He never rolled, Paul Arnold never attempted to, to roll away from that ball. And someone's called Sloaney a prick, so he's much of another ten yards. <laughs> well, right on the shadows of half time. How, how often have we seen this? Plus injury time. We're, in, we're in, into injury time now as Andrew Dove lies, lines this kick up 15 metres in from touch and about 3 metres outside the 22. Are we ready to know where he's going? Back to the tall, he's first. Who knows? Kicks it, and it goes to the left of the uprights. Bucknell forces down. That'll be damn near half time. We're right on half time. We're four minutes into injury. going forward, they come up with this gun. Oh, 
Oh, I'm just looking at the flag on the Leeds Club, Roy. Straight in front of you. That wins will favour Terrigal in the second spell. He doesn't have to blow that was. Well, that was a fantastic drive. Margin let that ball bounce. And they'll be singing, here we go, a Voga, after that. And we've got an injury to Wally Russell Lee. scrum feed eight meters out from the Trojan line Arnold to feed Avoca have won it still still to funnel funnel to still he's through oh that's a good try that is that would be one of the best tries you've ever bloody seen on the coast Greg still, yes. From that double round from Funnel. Right on, well, well and truly an injury time. I don't know who's buddy handling them the uh, time. And he got easy taking this about just to the left of the upright. Changes the whole. This could quite well it will be like easy. He'll kick this and it'll be 15 points to 12 at the halfway. At the half time, nothing bloody sure. The halfway mark of this match will be 15-12. Oh yeah! No bloody sweat. It slots it over. How sweet it is! And it's 15 points to 13 to Terrigal. Top try by Greg Still. And that's half time, mate. pretty cleanly. Reynolds. Went forward by Fennell. Terrible and all sorts of trouble there. Shaky Andrew Duff. If I go short.
was ruled not straight, but I thought Rebelli had knocked that on, actually. to the 22 metre. That was good pressure by Avoca. Figure out which way this wind's coming from. Oh, O'Reilly's on the boil. He's run through one. Shocking pass. Well, we've got someone on the deck over here. On the boil a bit there, they use their backs. Rebellion coming over to check Andrew Duff. I seem to be using, losing five eights like they're going out of fashion. Time for a Kit Kat. Wally Fields and Slaney after an eternity brings it back for the knock on and the scrum midway 22 halfway and 20 minutes in inside the terrible uh, and that's not a bad kick just inside the Avoga 22 Avoga inside backs close to being inside offside <laughs> the, scrum, the scrum packed down 10 metres inside the Vogue 22 and slam bang in front of that one. This is danger. This is a, a Voca try. They left it behind. Hey, 
Wow, terrible. Woof. Quick ball by Avoga. And penalty against Bob O'Brien by the look of it. Oh, I don't know. Well, Billy Fess. from the 22 and 15 20 meters in from touching it. Now if this goes over it could be curtains for Terrell. There's no way near. Andrew Dove forces down for the 22. It's even noticeable now you get the likes of Kalkis walking. is calling the shots. Not a real good drop, off, drop kick for his forwards. And that was pathetic by Andrew Duff. That's not a drop kick for a buddy forward back. You've well done O'Brien. Yeah, Bob O'Brien won that well. Now, if I could come up in offside and... <laughs> Terry will come up with a lolly. And they want to do something with this lolly. Slap, stuff, Santa. I think Rebellion would have to be looking at, looking at giving that to Marge. Where's Island breaks to Russell Lee to Mark Simpson. Or is it? No, it's John, it's Kelk. Now that, why the hell Terrigal haven't played it up that bloody blind side they've been always got me stuffed. Plus the fact it's costing me a lot of money. The referee Sloan says not straight. What do you want Terrigal? No, naturally enough they're going to have a bloody scrum. They're not going to have a bloody party. Well, the scrum is as good as a party, I swear. One by Terrigal. Yeah, I'm, I'm afraid to say this, but bloody brains and Andrew Dove don't sort of go together. Mm. You've got the fours that are bust their guts out, and then you've got a bloody peanut that bloody kicks it out and a bloody fool. Mm. And to boot, you're three points behind. Now what's going to happen? That's bloody near forward. Oh, shit. Oh, well, he's ruled a vaga up offside. Steve Fennell's going up with his hands on his bloody head like a Tibetan priest. Sonny's told him to piss off. Oh, I'm 
bucket of I know what. It's a cross between bloody Swan Lake and bloody... kick by margin. He got the bounce there. And he's just doing what Rabia told him to do a couple of weeks ago is the fact that keep a cross they keep in front of your forwards. I noticed Mark Margin there looked to the far side of the field, had a real good think about it. And uh, with a with a well judged kick he's taken play to ten metres outside the Avoca twenty two. Well taken, Terrigal. Rebellion plays half back with a magic now that was a good bit of work by Paul Arnold and that bloody O'Reilly watch that bloody ball like it was Coronation Street <laughs> A bugger have turned the fence into attack that much in this game. It's not even funny. And they've come up with this ball from the line-out. Still. Still the funnel. Funnel kicks. Here's Cream. A bugger have won it. To Arnold. To Bucknell. Drop kick charge down. No advantage of Oga. Scrum it. Well, that was pretty sloppy, slappy. It's all right, isn't it? <laughs> Scrappy stuff, really. But of Oga, to be fair, are in control of this game. Shell story. Territory is control. And that's what they've had. They've had the territorial advantage. Stenner. Oh shit, I don't know why Sloney's lost it there. Like a fart in a bottle. Sloney was there, he didn't know where that bloody thing was. He's probably got the shit because bloody Rebellion bloody give him a bum tape to bring over to my place. One thing about that, Bob the Bear, he tries every inch of the bloody way. It's just a bloody shame that he never had a few more of his clacker. He's the one that's leading the way. He's calling the bloody shots there. Taken in by uh, Kelk and a Vagra coming in and I don't know what Carrero is bloody doing, but he wouldn't stand a bloody boulder show against those fellas. to kick the touch. Now if he can put this out on the halfway mark, which I wish he should be able to do, well, Terry will have uh, gained some valuable ground. Well, he's done it. He's put it out five metres inside the terrible side of the halfway. Still got a scoreline of 15 points to 12, which was the half-time score. One by Avoga, Arnold feeds to Steel. Steel dummies into Reynolds. And uh, we see Russell Leake penalised. And uh, this could be the death knoll for, for Terrigal. My bloody bank managers.
easy to take this shot. Forty, forty metres out, and just to the left of the uprights. It looks pretty good. No, that's where it's going to the left of the uprights. Rebellion takes and duffs it. Oh, well, Rebellion wouldn't be happy with that clearing kick. We can certainly take a ball off the back of the line out. Andrew Dove, deep. Wrong again, Andrew Dove. Christ almighty. Side. And probably rightly so. And Avoga have a chance to go further in front. Yeah, it's either 26. We're at the halfway mark, roughly. Of this second half of the 1995 Grand Final, with John a John Easy taking a kick three metres inside the 22 and 20 metres in from touch. And we're at the halfway. We've either got to see a bit of terrible bloody power in this next 20 minutes, and they're not playing to their strength. They've started this farting around trying to run it out wide. And Easy has hooked it back in. That's over. No. Duffed it. Look good from here. <laughs> Really, you could say it was a let off for Terry Will then. Dove to drop out. That's a better drop kick. Now you're working to your forwards. That's bloody good stuff. Now we see the bloody blues. Yes, it was coming. Referee Sloan, dead set right. He was watching where that bloody ball was. He knew where it was. And. Uh, He's, uh, this terrible will come up with this scrum. That was a bit of drop kick by Andrew Dunn. But what he done be bloody, the last drop out, Christ almighty. God, you get some flips of the football, would you? We're right in amongst the... Heroic, bloody entrance rams or whatever they call them, fucking self. <laughs> One by a terrible. Rebellion breaks off the back. Feeds to Leet. Not going anywhere, Terry. Well, I suppose they made four or five metres, but that wasn't the point of the exercise. I'm bloody doubly sure of that. Pull back. Stenner's asleep again. Dove picks up. He's creamed by Carrara. Calkin there helping uh, margin. Look at this. Now this is if they can only play it close. Now what the hell's a penalty for? It's got me stuck. Mate. Oh, 
my old bloody Rumbo's been con for a few cans here. He's a good fella. taking this shot just inside the 22 10 meters in from touch we're going to get a bird's eye view of a goa or a wawa and this will break the back he's hooked it well away to the left never even bloody looked like it that's his right side of the field but he certainly duffed that Now that's not even for the, the Terrigal Trojans to come through. It was more slack, it was more slack paid by Avoca than it was that Terrigal got away with that. And they come up with the advantage. But that was a shocker from Andrew Dove. That dropout was a bloody... Uh, Christ, I'm bugger of mine, eh? I don't know what Rebellion's doing out there. You can stop greasing there, Brad. Andrew Dove, struck, wow, more out of jail than bloody, knocked on, referee stones ruled and knocked on, I think Sloaney was right, I think you'll find, yeah. and knock on, Terry will want to show their bloody might of the pack. That's where it is now. Rebellion, he's on the boil. Well, I think you'll see... Well, I don't know why you'd see a shot at goal. I thought they might have taken a quick tap. you got more bloody... You got Stenner on the ground. I don't know what's wrong with Stenner. Now I would have thought they'd have given this kick to Mark Margin. Well, referee Sloan restarts play, and Andrew Dove lines this one up. He's got this thing about fiddling around with his bloody socks or his boot or something. That looks pretty good. Yes, it's over. What a kick. 15 points all at the... I'm losing the minute marks here, but where, where are we at, Roy? <laughs> 15 all. What a top kick by Andrew Dunn. And that wind done the trick for him too, I think. 26, 26 minutes in, I think. Well, anybody's ball game now. This game will go into extra time. I'll just about get along with it. Andrew Dove clears from that and brings play 
three metres inside the Trojan half. Oh, it says 28. Well, you're pretty right, too. 28, 26, that's right, 54. Peter Stenner gives Dove a hospital pass. A voker is stirred up by that. They've had this game by the bloody short and curly, and all of a sudden they see it falling out of their bloody... Bucknell thrown forward by a Vega and the Terrigal scrum 10 metres outside the Terrigal 22 a bit lucky not to be pinged for passing that ball off the ground, actually. One by Terrigal, back to Andrew Dove. Shock and bloody kick, right down Bucknell's bloody throat. And just coasted into touch by Paul Bucknell. Not a bad footballer, this Bucknell. Got a line out three minutes outside the Terrigal 22. Simpson into the line out. Well fed, well won by Terrigal. They've driven it over the. Yes, and rightly so. That. It's as cold as bloody carry on. It's as cold as carry on. One by Terrigal. Dove puts it in the bloody box. This is precious. There, he gets rid of it and Bucknell does it well, but out in the full. Yeah, Paul Bucknell took that ball well. And he was he only shaved the outside of that uh, try line. No one backing up Russell Lee there. Uh, Wally Field. If it goes into extra time, I think a Voker will win. And he got the likes of he got the likes of Bob O'Brien and, and and the grub and everything out there. They they're gonna give their pound for pound. Billy Pearce. Billy Pearce there is just looking at David Sloan as if to say, what the fucking hell are you doing? Paul Arnold, one to steal, still slams it. This could be, yes. Still gets a bounce. We're going to line out uh, two or three metres out uh, from the uh, Terrigal trial. Terrigal defending desperately here. That was a top kick by Terrigal. Won this ball from the line out. Nothing bloody sure. Mark Margin slams it downfield, right down Bucknell's throat. Hey, fuck oh, oh, shit. Oh, Andrew Duff clears upfield. Bucknell lets it bounce and he's... Well, he's knocked it back and filled, but by Jesus, they must have been bloody close. And kicks it out in the full. So, Terrigal have turned absolute bloody defence into 40, 50, 50 metres. And we've got Les Island on the deck for Terrigal. 
I hope you're not one of these one-eyed supporters. <laughs> <laughs> Marlon's all right, he's coming back to... We have a line out 10 metres inside that Avoca Sharks half. Simpson feeds the line out. Be close to being not straight. Well done. Oh, that flip leaves that behind. Stenner picks it up. Taken forward by Billy Pearce. Wow. Terry will come up with this scrum, yeah. So we've got a scrum five metres out from the uh, Avoca 22 and uh, 10 in from touch. Terrigal have won it. Avoca are a mile bloody offside. You want to be careful. This is a shit fight, this. Margin goes whack. Yes, it's over. That's Mark Martin, he, he's done nothing all bloody day and he slotted this field goal from 30 metres out. That's, that's, uh, that's the game, I think. I think you'll see that uh, they'll play it tight now. This uh, Rebellion's having a good yap out there. Get it, Rebellion. He's bloody yapping his bloody head off. He's telling them that we won't bloody well bloody wide, nothing wide at all. I'll bet you a bloody pound or a pinch of shit, that's what he's saying. He <laughs> would be. to go plus injury time in this game and uh, Mark Margin will well if they can see this next four minutes out I tell you Mark Margin won't won't buy a drink for ever in a day and that's exactly he brought it right back into five metres inside the, the half unfit or whatever, but he's trying to turn it into extra time. Huh? Paul Bucknell comes up for this kick, he'll no doubt slot it into the, deep into the 22, but he's dusted. Oh! Mark Margin, you knocked it on. Could be the most costly mistake for Terrigal. Funnell's going nowhere. He's offside. Got to be a mile offside. She's hotting up here now. There's the grub. 
Terrigal, they've made the line and come up with a bloody good. Sheriff and knocked that ball on, but Sloan has decided to play the line. That's bad refereeing. One by the bear. He's a good bloody footballer, that O'Brien. Andrew Dub. All he'll do is slam it right down there. Get that to good kick. Equally good return by the Avoca winger. David. Congratulations, bro. Thank you. 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 Thank Sloan's playing the advantage. He'll bring it back. He'll bring it back now. Yeah. He'll bring it back for the knock on. We've got a very happy David Bergen down here with the infants. Guys. We'll get him on, I mean. Yeah, oh, I tell you, that's in the right place anyway. Anything is worth a go. Are we laughing? Still to drop out. Oh. Calc. Calc into. O'Brien, one by Terrigal, taken forward by Ireland, ripped by Simpson. We got this. Uh, we got this scrum now. Looks like the ball game from here on in. Uh, uh, look at Terrigal. They found Sloaney says scrum it again. An injury to Bob. Hey, Brian. He's all right. Don't worry about him. Run up the sideline. Bloody thorough gentleman to go with it. <coughs> We're an injury time in this game now, according to Roy, so uh, surely nothing's nothing stupid, terrible. It cost me enough brass all over the year with that bloody... Oh, that's good stuff, good stuff. Controlled by Rebellion at number eight. 
control. They're, oh, shit, they're going to... They've got to get the penalty here. Driving through. Still got it. And they'll come up with a scrum. Now, listen. You wouldn't have to be a donkey's asshole to bloody know what they'll do if they go here. Yeah, they've got to have the go. They drop goal. Now, you can see Andrew Dove. I don't know if he can drop kick goals or not. You, know, you have to be good for something. Well, we're five minutes over. Just kicked over, mate. Sloan, yeah, Sloan is great. We'll be busy minutes second half, mate. Why is it different from the world we Scrum win. Fed by a Stenner. Won by a Voca. A Voca funnel. Oh, shocking bloody kick. Oh, this bloody Miles go. Oh, yes. Yes, and that's right. No. Has he awarded it? No try, no try. Scrum on the line. Knock on. Knock on. Big George, what a kick, man. Is that George Pace? Is that George Pace? Everyone's a big second row winner. Up to Remy! And you won against us, mate. You're a bad kid. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, we didn't get kissed again. Carry on, did we? Oh, sloppy ball by Avoca. Now that bloody panic football, that's forward. Now Bucknell's tied up like a bloody gum digger's dog. Yeah. Margin goes through. Talk about a bloody comedy. <laughs> Whatever. And there's the more there's more terrible guys on the bloody deck than you can poke a stick at. Two in front and one behind the field of play. Well, we're well and truly into injury time now. I don't know who's running. I don't know whether the referee... Does the referee run the... Stopwatch. Rumbo, no? Nah? Rumbo. There's a referee the sole control in the grand final. Well, yeah. well you're, you're talking about six minutes into injury time now. One by Terrigal, this ball. Oh, look at this. Well, I think that's... That is the might of the, of the Trojans. Yeah. We'll get Dave Bergen up. So we've got to take, we've got half your game on there. So we get you on. What? He fluffed it. Philip, Philip Bergen. It's uh, 18, the final score, 18 points to 15. The terrible Trojans, well, they, uh, they got it a few times. They've just got, at the moment, at the moment, we just, we've got 
got diet burgundy. 